Okay, I got this question I'm gonna ask. How the hell am I supposed to follow an ant like that? <laughs> this is a setup all the way. I said, so what's my national connection? So I, I lived in Colorado for 10 years and then made that move down there in the mid 80s. So yes, I am as old as the dirt. And I'm talking to Amelia, who's coming on next, and it turns out she lived on the same, not only on the same street, but about a block away on Scott Avenue there. Now, a lot of things have changed since I've been down there, and, and uh, I still work down there, and we do shows down there like uh, Dave just mentioned. So we'll be down there uh, April 24th, Bluebird Cafe. If you're in the area, get in touch. I'll get you in. How's that? That work? Uh, yeah, it's, it's darn near impossible to get in uh, anymore and get a ticket. It only seats about 90 people. So, yeah, I lived with Scott Avenue. I was down there for about five years, and I've been working down there ever since. So, and speaking of Colorado, I'm going to open up with a song here I wrote in Summit County, a little place called the Snake River Saloon. Still there. It's a little log cabin uh, looking place as you start to ascend up to A Basin. It's still there. Jimmy Shields is the owner. That sounds good, Tyler. It's called uh, River Gun Guitar. Once I moved away from Nashville, I uh, continued to record, to write, 
uh, down there and uh, continue to do that to this day. And we are 11 albums in four for all the effort. And just released uh, the latest is called The Witness Trees. And that first song I played there uh, made it on to a number one on a couple of charts. And uh, I'm going to do, yeah, I, we had the uh, Radio Guitar One Americana chart <coughs> and um, the Roots Music Report chart. So we're making a little bit of headway, you know. And what you're looking at here, is there anybody who has not been to Byron's? Anybody out there? Not no. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. So you know, you know the drill. I mean, this is how these guys make their living. And um, it's getting tougher and tougher out there. But because we have people like Byron who create that, that I call it a sanctuary space, you know, that we can, we and our brethren can, can uh, find a place to play for folks like you. And thank you, thank you, and thank you for showing up tonight and showing up every night. It's a beautiful thing. I'm going to do uh, a second single that uh, off the Witness Trees album. Mm -hmm. and this was inspired by the LGBTQ uh, community uh, called The Wait You Care. You don't know the way she came So, um, 
We have video out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a song here that just reached number one um, on uh, a couple of charts anyhow. And um, this is a song that um, I put together with one of my favorite co-writers out of Nashville, it's Tom Favreau. And in Nashville, that's kind of still, a lot of things have changed over the years down there, but one thing that hasn't is you get two or three or more people in a room and you, you put a song together. That's what songwriters do. And it's kind of like what Robert was saying uh, earlier that uh, primarily he feels like he's a songwriter, same here. I, I do this kind of thing just by default because, uh, you know, nobody else wants to cut these songs. So you, somebody, I want to get them out there, right? So anyhow, this is um, a little bit of a, a, I don't know, we don't want, we, don't, we try not to get too political with our, with our songwriting here in my camp. Uh, we just want to make, make people think, make, make them feel good. Uh, this is called To Be Human. Let's kind of sing one together. You ready? <laughs> yeah, that sounded pretty enthusiastic. <laughs> Byron, you want to come back up? Thank you. <laughs> so let's do uh, your part, three words. No, not those three words. 
Three words that he can't tell. And you'll know when to come in. And I had the, just the wonderful luck and pleasure to have Kev Moe play on the song on the record. By the way, anything, any merch we sell tonight, uh, we're going to donate that money to, um, to the cause here. So, and, and my wife, Sharon, will be back there manning the merch table for everybody. And please help him out as best you can. But our, our merch money is going to Byron. So uh, just to let you know that before I forget. And Sharon, if there's anything else I'm supposed to say when I'm up here, please let me know. Because that's what you Like, what's the name of the song? Oh, I can't tell, and you're going to sing, he can't tell. All right. My first girlfriend was sweet. My second girlfriend was sweet. First girl found out about my second girl, and that did not go so well. Another story. Redstone in the Quad City with Dave Moore and 
pack his teeth. Wow. And um, yeah, you, you feel like this is going to call and going somewhere. And it won't be on a Sunday. We don't want to conflict with firearms. <laughs> No, that wouldn't work. But uh, yeah, next uh, week, uh, next Friday. So Byron is a dreamer. And we need dreamers big time, especially these days. And um, not only is it be a dreamer, but um, he knows how to get things done and put things in place. And um, he likes to have company. And he likes to spread the joy, spread the love. And uh, this goes out to you. dedicate this song to the spirit of David Holmey and Melvin, and Melvin Holcomb, which just recently passed away. And uh, bear with me, I didn't have enough time to really memorize this one, so. You all know those two artists, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, we've had the good fortune to be able to pitch to Andy Lou Harris. She's been so kind and so generous to so many of us. And uh, we've got a song in the hopper. We just hope she records it. But it was hand-delivered to her. And uh, she recorded this song. Uh, written by David Olney. Malcolm just did a, a I think for David's tribute in Nashville, uh, he did a uh, version of this song. So I'm going to try to do a version, and uh, I'm going to kind of like go 
light's aware that there's some little kind of like this. Deeper well. You know that song? Deeper well. Thank you.